Dorothy Lang is the most important Great Depression photographer. The images she presented helped spur reforms that led to triumph over the great in economic and social tragedy. Her iconic photos, such as Migrant Mother and the White Angel Breadline, show the hardships people are going through that couldn't be explained with words alone. She used her ability of taking photos as a way to show the world what was really going on, to show how those affected by the Depression needed help. Before her legendary pro work with the New Deal program, the FSA, she was recognized for her work when she took a photo called the White Angel Breadline, which is a photo of a group of destitute people in a breadline. In the photo, there was one man specifically highlighted. He was sitting with his hands clasped and he was looking very distant while waiting patiently for his food. The people in the line with him had a sadness that could be sensed through the photos. The man was sitting in that line, waiting to get the things he and his family needed just to get by. Without these photos, Lang wouldn't have become the famous Great Depression photographer that she is today. Because of the amazing photos she took, we wouldn't even be able to begin explaining what happened to these people. She was able to tell their stories through photos. A single photo can tell more than what a person could in a thousand words. This is one of the photos that showed true hardship of what America was going through the, during the present time. The hardship she documented started in 1920. In 1929, the stock market crashed in New York. Many people lost their money and their jobs. People quickly began to distrust the banks, so they drew out their money and saved it themselves. People also stopped spending, so money was unable to get back into circulation and help things get back on their feet. Because of this, unemployment rates rose significantly as money supply decreased and consumer spending de contracted and ultimately reached 25%. This was a 200-300% increase from normal and healthy unemployment rates. 1930 to 1933. At the depths of the Depression, Dorothy Lang and her family moved to New Mexico to live with a group of artists, then later moved to their individual studios. As food riots broke out and the economy crumbled, Congress and President Hoover created the Reconstruction Finance Corporation, also known as the RFC. This was created to provide financial support to states and local governments, and they had also made loans to banks, railroads, and other places to help at the time. As much as the RFC was made to help, it had also destroyed some of the progress by giving out so much. During this, the Dust Bowl began, ruining many farms and forcing many farmers to move to other states. Most of these people were from Oklahoma, and they were moving to California. So to make fun of their misfortune, people called them the derogatory term, Okies. The Dust Bowl led to dust storms, a series of storms that blew up tons of debris and dirt that had blown around in a tornado. Hoover sent Revenue Act of 1932, and this was to raise the tax rates, bringing it up from 25% to 63%. During 1932, Franklin D. Roosevelt and President Hoover had gone into an election against each other. At the time, Roosevelt was well-liked and had won against Hoover by a landslide in both the electoral and popular votes. Shortly after Roosevelt became president, he launched a series of programs called the New Deal. The multiple programs Roosevelt founded were programs such as the TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, the FERA, Federal Emergency Relief Administration, and the CCC, Civilian Conservation Corps, and these are only a few. Many of the programs, such as the FSA and TVA, made to help create new things such as schools, buildings, paintings, and many more to help create jobs for people. The CCC was made to help give people who had once served help if they were homeless. Then the FERA was created to regulate the banks during the time when they were really bad. Roosevelt creates another program called the PWA, also known as the Public Works Administration, and the program was created as a construction agency. In 1934, Lang works with Paul Taylor to create a magazine called Survey Graphic. Later in the year, one of Lang's photos is used as a cover. The photo she had put on the cover, White Angel Breadline, got her noticed by many people and programs. During this time in the Great Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was president at the time, passes the Conservation Act. As a result, unemployment rates went down to 21.7%. During this year, Lang's photo, White Angel Breadline, was a very famous photo. 
The White Angel Breadline photo is famous because it captured the distraught of the people waiting in line because they didn't have money to pay for their food and supplies that they had needed. She wasn't started in her photography career yet, and she had taken the photo in 1932, but it had gotten printed in 1934. Shortly after she had taken the photo, she had help from one of her friends to get her job at the FSA. This included the public works programs, financial reforms, and regulations that are put into place by FDR. The New Deal responded to needs for relief, recovery, and reform. 1935, Lang had just turned 40 and was hired by the FSA, also known as the Farm Security Administration, as a field investigator. A few months after, Lang and Manier divorced, shortly after she marries Taylor, two months later. FDR launches more programs to help the poor. Roosevelt had launched another program called the WPA, also known as the Works Progress Administration, which was created to track the progress and help build things and provide jobs. Maybe. In 1936, Lang took the photo Migrant Mother in California. She took this photo as a representation of what people were going through. This is Dorothy Lang's most well-known photo. The name of the woman in the photo is Florence Owens Thompson. She was only 32 when the photo was taken, but she had seven children. The photo was taken of her and three of her children. Two of them clinging to her as if they were their only connection, keeping them alive. This photo connects with the hearts and minds of those who see it. Migrant Mother is the name of this photo because during that time, many people had to keep moving to survive, and that's what Thompson did. Her children cling to her because they feel they have to. They feel as if they let go, they're letting go of their home and their survival. And that is why Migrant Mother is used so often and why it's so well known. Lang knew how to take pictures that showed people what the, the depression was really like. This knowledge led to the creation of government programs to help the poor get them back on their feet. Her supervisor, Roy Stryker, also asked them to do a government project to find jobs for people who had become an unemployed in New York. During this year, FDR also raised tax rates to 79%, and unemployment numbers were lessening. They shrink to 16.9%. 1937, the FSA decided to temporarily cut Lang from payroll. During all of this, FDR begins his second term and launched the Third New Deal. He also begins to cut spending to reduce the debt. By this time, unemployment rates have gone down to 14.3%. During 1938, Lang continues to take photos of immigrants. These photos affected the country by showing people how bad it was for them. It showed the country the emotion and hardships that people were going through at the time. During this, the economy also starts to grow. However, unemployment... 1939-1942 John Ford used Lang's photos as primary research material while directing Grapes of Wrath. The film version of John Steinbeck's classic accurately reflected the hardships that migrants had to endure. It had won an Oscar for Director of the Year, and it used Lang's photos to show how real everything was. This movie was very notable for its realism because of that. Later, Lang is completely cut from payroll and is hired by the WRA, also known as the War Relocation Authority. While Lang was working for the WRA, she had taken a photo of the evacuation and internment of Japanese Americans from camps. She captured the lives of those in the camps and the raw emotions upon the faces of those stuck there. Dorothy Lang is a very well-known photographer. She is better known for her photos Migrant Mother and White Angel Redline. She lived from 1895 to 1965, and she was diagnosed with polio in 1902 which disabled her from doing many things. However, she was able to make a comeback from it. Although she had polio, it was not what killed Lang. Instead, she died to throat cancer. During her lifetime, she worked as a field investigator, married twice, and moved around a lot. While working on the field, she focused a lot of her time on taking photos about food, water, money, and homes. Without these photos, people would not know what it was like for the people who were struggling. Without Dorothy Lang, we would never have known the hardships that people have gone through during this time. 
Yes, we would know what happened because the things were documented, but we have never seen how hard it was on the people. Dorothy Lang showed the people the emotion of the Great Depression. She showed us how bad it was and what it was like for people.